If you say that there are n1 number of atoms in the lower energy level and n2 number of atoms in the excited energy level E2, then at equilibrium n1 will always be greater than n2 because all the atoms will try to attain the minimum possible energy. So, most of the atoms will be in the lower energy level. But we have seen in the last slide that the light amplification can progress only if there are sufficient number of atoms available in the excited energy state E2. If there are no atoms available in excited state, then the light amplification will stop. So, for getting considerable amount of light amplification and emission to be effective for light amplification, it should occur at large scale and uh, it will occur at large scale only if there are large number of atoms available in the excited energy state. So, this condition is achieved by maintaining more number of atoms in the excited state as compared to the number of atoms in lower energy state. So, N2 greater than N1, this condition is called as population inversion condition. Why population inversion? Because at equilibrium, in normal equilibrium, there are more number of atoms in the lower energy level. But in order to get stimulated emission at large scale, we need to reverse invert this condition. We need to get large number of atoms in the excited state. So, having large number of atoms in the excited state as compared to the lower energy state is called as population inversion and population inversion is a must for getting light amplification at large scale. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to the channel so that you will get timely intimation of new videos uploaded to the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.